Oh gosh, I love this one. This is incredible. It's a vintage metal embroidery hoop, four inch tension wheel, cork lined from the 1950s. This sold for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money, unexpected bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. These come from my featured members. These members have joined Bolo Buddies memberships to be featured in this video. If you would like to join, there's a join boat button down by the like and subscribe area. And if you don't see it, sometimes it's not on your phone. It is also linked in the description of the video. No pressure to join, but if you would like to um, be featured in a video, uh, definitely check that out. Level two. All right. So I'm going to talk to you about these big money bolos and we are going to get started. I'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. If you've been here a while and watched my channel for a while, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. If you're new, if you've been here a while, let me know. I'd love to hear how you found it. So let's get started with the first item here. This one comes from Noni's Treasure House and she has a really cool store, lots of great unique, different, fun items, great variety. Definitely check it out. It will be linked down in the description. She does not have a YouTube channel. This is a jewelry treasure box. Lacor uh, lacquered? Lacquered, I think is the word. Mother of pearl inlay with mirror. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. And it flips and it's got the mirror. It is incredible. That's all I got to say. Incredible. Uh, she got this at a Salvation Army for $5.95 and it sold for $159.99. And from what I understand, it was not branded. It was just really, really pretty. So um, she went on that factor with great keywords and sold it for big money. The next item she sold are these pair of Staffordshire Ware Kent Spaniel Wally Dogs King Charles England figurines and their dogs. And this is what they look like. And let me see if we have a picture of the bottom right there. That is what you're looking for. Um, let me see if we can zoom. And she got these for $19 at the Salvation Army. She, I believe she said she sold this brand before, so she did pay up a little bit and sold them for $125 plus shipping. The next item is this necklace. It's very, very, uh, very cool. And it is a J Crew matchstick fireburst necklace. Some of the J Crew items, they're costume jewelry, but they can do pretty well. So the ones that are statement pieces like this. She got this at a Salvation Army for $5 and took a best offer of $85 plus shipping on that. The next items come from Awesome Burger Quality Resale. Check out her eBay store. It will also be linked down below. And lots of items that you can check out. Maybe perhaps a Christmas gift for someone. You just never know. Uh, Slumberkins Bigfoot Brown Spoon and Moon Made in Oregon Poly Wool Cotton Stuffed Animal. So if it were me, I definitely would have put plush and stuffed animal in the title. Probably left out poly wool and cotton. Um, just because that can be a good descriptive word. So just something that I'm pointing out to, to keep this educational, and you may not agree with me. Um, I always say to use plush and um, stuffed animal in the title because I think plush is a reseller word, and I think stuffed animal is a word that your everyday person, the mom, um, or somebody looking for a gift for a kid is going to search stuffed animals. So I try to put both in my title or stuffed toy, something like that. If, um, I'm trying to, if I'm running out of characters. Okay. But this guy right here, she got at the Goodwill bins and sold it for full asking price of $49.99 plus, uh, I'm sorry, with free shipping on that. 
This is a vintage um, Radical Super Bass AM FM stereo receiver. How cool is that? So it's not a Walkman. It doesn't take a tape, but it's a little stereo. This one she got at the Goodwill, or I'm sorry, at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for full asking price of $77.57 free shipping. The next item is this lovey blankets and beyond blue, white, and gray lovey bunny rabbit blanket, uh, 14 inch plush soft. These loveys, um, I always, always pick up loveys. Uh, they range from bread and butter to big money, but they, it seems like they always sell and there's always somebody looking for one of these as a replacement or, um, you know, you just want it to be there in case somebody needs it. Right. She got this at the Goodwill Benz and sold it for $24.74 with free shipping. All right. I Candy Vintage is the next featured eBay store. Again, just lots of cool different items. Vintage to now. Uh, looks like there could be some great Christmas gifts in that store too. Who is Christmas shopping already? Um, are you done? I know I saw, I think I was over at Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction and somebody said, that they only had like five more things to get. Have you guys started to Christmas shop? Let me know in the comments. All right. So this one comes from I Candy Vintage, Vera Bradley Campus Backpack. And she sold this for $70 best offer. And she picked it up on clearance for uh, 20. These sheets right here, there's uh, Safira, S-F-E-R-R-A, a twin sheet set. And they are long. And she got these at a thrift store for $10. So they're brand new. And she sold them for a best offer of $60. This here, I just think is incredible. She um, got these free. And I'm surprised they didn't sell for more, really. They are just, they're incredible. They're very, very old. Uh, antique, super rare item, it says. It's a Paradise Regained Undated John Milton hardcover. And they do have some condition issues, but just that cover is beautiful. She sold this for $34.99 plus shipping. And she also sold this one for $34.99 plus shipping. And I want to say these were maybe her mother's. So she got them free. Franklin Hill Ventures. Okay. He's not doing much on YouTube right now. He is focusing on whatnot. So if you are not following Franklin Hill Ventures on whatnot, Go follow him. He has fantastic stuff. He is just doing awesome over on that platform. If you guys have not joined Whatnot yet, there is a link down below, which will take you to my Bolo Buddies, where you should definitely follow me also because I'm eventually going to be selling over there. And if you use that link to join, you can get, um, is it 10% off your first? Or no, it's a $10 credit. Sorry, I'm mixing it up. I think it's a $10 credit to shop. So um, it's a referral link and you get a $10 credit and I get a $10 credit. So I would appreciate it if you use that link to join. Please follow Franklin Hill Ventures and I will periodically post links in my Facebook group to other people that are on Whatnot as well and also on my Instagram. So other channels um, and people to follow that are selling stuff. Okay, what did he sell? He sold this vintage WWF Stone Cold Steve Austin jersey. He got this at a thrift store for $2.48 and sold it for a best offer of $79.20. He also sold this vintage uh, sportswear Tennessee. It's a t-shirt. Um, he got this at a thrift store for $2.48 and he sold it a uh, best offer of $25 plus shipping. So a bread and butter item, but you will see these items at thrift stores and uh, garage sales all the time. So they're definitely a good pickup. This one sold on Etsy. It's abalone shell footed trinket dish, Wonder Mold Industries. And he actually sold quite a few of these. He got um, he got these at a yard sale. Let's see, for 40. And he has sold four of them. Or maybe it's four. I don't know. It says 40. $76 total. He sold four of them for 19 each. So really cool item there. And he is um, over on Etsy. He is FHH Venture or F FHV Ventures. FH Ventures. Let me get this right. I'm so sorry. I'm so used to calling them Franklin Hill Ventures. 
Do you hear all those bing bongs? I'm getting bids on something. Me or my husband is. I got to look. I got to look. Uh, let's see what it is. It is. I don't know what it is. Ah, it's not showing me. Well, that's odd. I'll have to check it out later. Anyway, um, so these little abalone shell uh, footed little things here. And that's what the uh, mold looks like or the sticker on the back. Okay, totally distracted there. I really want to know what's getting a ton of bids. Uh, okay, moving on to the next one. Laureen's used books and things. And again, a really fantastic eBay store. She will be linked down below. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she did just submit a video for This Is My Bolo. So you will get to meet her, which is fantastic. I was so excited that somebody that does not have a YouTube channel submitted a video. That is so exciting. And let's see what she sold. She sold this Brighton Ladybug Kiss Style Closure Canvas Crossbody. And it's a cute little purse. It's not very big. It's actually pretty tiny. She said it's coin purse size. She got it at the Goodwill for $3.99 and took a best offer of $55 plus shipping. The next item are these blue canisters. They are L.E. Smith Moon and Stars Colonial Blue Vintage Canisters. They are beautiful. She got these for the big one for $5.09 and the small one for $4.99. And she took a best offer of $59.96 plus shipping on those. These are Viking Rose. I don't know how to say the first word, so we're just going to skip it. Viking Rose Iris Embroidery Alphabet Card. She got these at the Goodwill for $2.50 and took a best offer of $75 on these. So how cool is that? That's not something I've ever seen or sold in. I am impressed. Very cool. The next item comes from Cheryl Shiny Squirrel. This is her eBay store. And definitely go and check her out. Here she is. And let's see what she sold. Lots of great items. So uh, 1991 Bing and Gondol. Royal Copenhagen Feast of St. Lucia Ornament. <laughs> that was a lot of information there. High bid, 27 cents. And she sold this for a best offer of $25. She got these boots at a yard sale for $4. Sold in two weeks for full asking price of $47.99 plus shipping. They are Justin Gypsy Women's Cowboy Boots. And she got this Callaway Golf BMW Championship Golf Tournament Pullover at the Goodwill Bins, and she sold it for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, we have Antiques from Karen Janet. And Antiques from Karen, um, she got, um, she inherited her mother's estate, which is um, jam packed with amazing, amazing items. Um, she does put some stuff on eBay, but most of her items she sells on her YouTube channel. So definitely subscribe to her. She sold this lampshade. It's a BNP diffuser lampshade. Um, it's milk glass. And she sold two of these. She took a best offer of $120 plus shipping. And if you want to learn more about lampshades and different things like that, over on Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's channel, um, they did a video together where she walked through the house and they talked about different um, lampshades and stuff like that. Super educational. Noelle looked things up on eBay and really just a teaching tool for you guys. So definitely check that out on Noelle's channel as well. She sold this Bob Mackie uh, Barbie. And let me get you a close up here in the original box, it looks like. And she took a best offer of $75 free shipping. Uh, I'm sorry, plus shipping on that. And the last item she sold is this Bonsai booklet from 1992. And she did say that this did take a while to sell. And it looks like it sold for $24.99. And she has one more available. These were all items from her mother's estate. So she inherited them. This is Zeth Eclectic, Eclectics. I have trouble with that word. Unique treasures, everyday savings. All right, lots of cool stuff here. And got some cool plush. 
I see Christmas gifts. Check it out. All right. Let's see. You guys can Christmas shop over there. Honda CRV carpet floor mat. She got this at the Goodwill for uh, $4 and took a best offer of 50 on those. So nice little pickup at the Goodwill. Things I skip. These three items I would walk right past. This one is a carrier comfort uh, thermostat. Also got at the Goodwill. Paid $3 for this and sold it for $58.48. And that went through global shipping and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Chrome Orange X Juicer, um, Citrus Extractor Juice Press. Uh, and she got this also at um, the Goodwill for $7. Took a best offer of $51 on that. So again, these items are in the box with a barcode. So easy to look up and easy to list. Um, the next item she got is this holster. It's a vintage leather gun holster belt with ammo cartridge. I don't know what that means. Oh, it holds. Oh, wow. That's incredible. She got this at an estate sale for six bucks and took a best offer of 60 on that. The next item she sold is this squish mallow. And she wanted to share this one because she paid $19.99 for it at the Goodwill. Now, did she make money? Yes. She sold it for best offer of 48 plus shipping, but she felt like she overpaid. overpaid. She knew it was Squish Mallow. She knew it was um, from Star Wars and she thought it was going to be a big money bolo. $48 is still great, but um, Squish Mallows, they are hit and miss. So definitely look them up before you um, spend a lot of money on them. I think she still did fine at $19.99. Money Making Mama. She goes into a place called Dirt Cheap and she finds amazing deals. And let me give you some examples here. A lot of eight impress press on nails, spooky Halloween limited edition. She got these for $2 each. So there's eight of them. So $16 is her cost of goods. This is retail arbitrage. Um, so you're not going to have as big of profits as if you go and get something for a quarter at a garage sale. She sold these for a best offer of $44.99 with free shipping. This is deer uh, repellent. And she got these for $0.80 cents each at Dirt Cheap. And she has five more available. Already sold three. They're selling for $44.97. So her cost of goods is about 2 bucks for these. One listing, multi-quantity, just keeps selling, keeps making money. That's one thing great about these types of items and what she does. Lot of 12 vitamin E moisturizing stick lip repair. And you can see it comes in this little case. She paid $1.80 for the case. These are selling for $36.99. She has sold two and has two available. All right, we've got Walnut Bottom Mercantile. Am I saying that right? I'm not even sure what that means or how to say it. So I apologize, but she has an awesome store. Check it out down below, linked down below. Look at that. Ah, that's kind of creepy. That's going to sell probably for Halloween. All right. So definitely has some Halloween stuff if you guys are looking for a mask or something like that. All right. Let's see what she sold here. She sold these. Oh gosh. I love this one. This is incredible. It's a vintage metal embroidery hoop, four inch tension wheel cork lined from the 1950s. This sold for $50.95 and she got it free. How incredible is that? So if you see these, definitely give them um, a little quick look and make sure it's uh, not a big money one before you dismiss it. She got this Santa. It's a Harriet Gilmar King Santa illuminated coin bank and it lights up and it's from the 50s. She said it was in a box at a yard sale and she paid $2 for it and it sold for $49.94. The next item comes from Leanne something, uh, something for you. And it's been a while since she put out a video. I know she was doing live sales over on her channel. Not sure if she's going to come back to YouTube. She might be on whatnot. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but definitely sub her up and her eBay store is linked there and down below as well. She sold this Escada gold tone, multi heart clip earrings. They came out of an online auction lot. So she had about 10 cents in these and took a best offer of 60. And there you go. That's what the back looks like. The next item she sold is this Pokemon 3D ornament. Oop, 
I sold something and she got this at the Goodwill for $2 and took a best, uh, I'm sorry, and sold it for 75 plus shipping. The next item is this tray. It's a vintage Marquette in lady, in lady, I think that should be inlay maybe, wood brass serving tray. She got this at a thrift store for a buck and sold it for 65 plus shipping. Grinning Grandma is a new member of the Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and Cher is fantastic. Check out her um, eBay store and her YouTube channel. Now, she has a bunch of booths. I think she said like eight or 18 or something crazy. It's just, it's it's incredible. I don't know how she does it, but she's trying to get more of an online presence. So definitely go and follow her. She sold this uh, brass pair of double candle sconces, wall decor, engravable vintage. And she sold this for $51. It came from an estate buyout. So um, cost of goods was pennies and the buyer paid shipping on that. This vintage Sure Brothers microphone model 5-1 and adjustable stand Got this at a junk shop for $5 and it sold for a best offer of $125 plus shipping. And these dogs, they are a pair of mid-century modern K. Finch pink Yorkie dog figurines. Collector's dream. Check them out. They are super, super cool. Uh, these came from an estate clean out. So also had pennies in these and they sold for $200. All right, you guys, there's some new channels there, some new eBay stores. Definitely go down below and follow their eBay stores and uh, subscribe to their YouTube channels. Thank you so much for being here. Leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments. And thanks for watching.